your girl daily and i'm back with another video y'all i don't hit 100 subscribers that's what's up that was up that was up y'all i like that but anyway so today oh yeah let me do a little disclaimer y'all gonna see me in this little black tank top for like the next three four videos because i am finna bench record because I be busy, like that's why I ain't got like nothing. I be busy, so yeah, y'all gonna see this same little tank top in the net my next few videos. Anyway, so this video is just gonna be me telling y'all about my favorite YouTubers. Like I thought this would be a cool little video to do. So yeah, if y'all wanna know what I be watching when I be on YouTube, stay tuned. Okay, so my favorite YouTuber of, well, I ain't gonna say all time, but at the moment, my favorite YouTuber is Keisha. <laughs> Y'all, and I'm gonna post these people's YouTubes, like, it's gonna be right here or right here, whichever one look better for me. But yeah, Keisha, that's my whole girl. Let me stop, cause she don't even know me for real, but I can hear her, I can hear her right now. Follow me on Instagram, Keisha with three E's. <laughs> Y'all, her story times are crazy. I wish that I could have lived the life that she lived when she was younger in her story times and stuff, y'all. But yeah, I love Kayshawn. Her story times are so funny to me. And yeah, my the next, oh yeah, I got a list right here on my phone, y'all. So yeah, next on the list. I love I am Asia. I am Asia be telling story times to y'all. And she be giving the people in her story time some of the craziest names, y'all. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I love watching her story times too. And then we got oh that's T. Oh that's T. That's this homegirl too. Her story times are funny as well. And they just Oh, it's crazy for real. Like, she be telling some of the craziest things. Her and K Shine kind of right there together with each other, honestly. Because, yeah, I wish I lived the life she lived as well. And then, y'all know you gotta throw in life with Simone. And, y'all, it's so crazy because just recently, K Shine, ODST, and Life with Simone, they just leaked up, y'all, because they all in Texas. And I just love that. I'm, I'm ready to see those videos with all three of them together because they are taking over YouTube at the moment. But yeah, Life with Simone, her story times are funny and crazy as well. Like, she be naming folks crazy stuff too. But Homegirl lived that life for real with the hood dudes and all that. And yeah, they just be interesting. And it just be so crazy because... She's telling these stories about her real life, y'all. This stuff happened in real life. And I can't imagine what I do with some of the stuff that she done talked about in her story time happened to me. But, yeah, I got some crazy stories, too. But my story time ain't got none on none of the girls that I just named. Also, I like Jimmy P. Now, she's one of the newer YouTubers that I just started watching. And her story times are cool, too. She right up. Up there with the rest of the girls that I was just talking about. Um, she live in Atlanta though. I'm in Atlanta as well. So yeah, no, we gotta talk about homegirl. And all these girls are so pretty, y'all. They so pretty and cute and entertaining. I aspire to be the story time the storytellers that they are. But yeah. So this K Shine, I am Asia. Oh, that's T, Life with Simone, and Jimmy P. Now, besides those girls, like, I watch all of them for their story times. They do make other videos, I think, but I don't watch those. I just watch the story times. Now, if I'm not watching any of those and listening to their story times, then, y'all, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm all about the food videos. If it ain't got nothing to do with food, I don't really be paying no attention to it. Not on YouTube, I don't. So, now we're going to talk about another category of YouTube. I love Trinity J, y'all. 
Once again, she gonna be up here over there somewhere. I love Trinity J. When I first started watching her, she was doing the um eat one color for 24 hours. Y'all remember when those videos were training? That's what I should have did, honestly. But back then, I wasn't really seeing YouTube like it. So, yeah, y'all know that trend where everybody would pick a color and then they just eat stuff. They only eat stuff that's that color for 24 hours. So, yeah, that's how I started watching her. And then she just went on to other, like, 24-hour food challenges. So, I watch all of those. She made other videos as well, but those are the videos that I watch of her. So, like, any 24-hour food challenge she do, yeah, I'm watching it. And I like Good Mythical Morning, y'all. Link and red do my two faves, period. But yeah, they got their little it kind of like a little talk show. It's kind of like a little talk show or whatever. And they do all kind of crazy stuff with foods. Like they compare foods. They compare like restaurants and stuff. Like for instance, Burger King versus McDonald's. They'll go and they'll get the same thing from both restaurants. And sometimes they be doing like food combinations. They be trying to guess where, what country, like, some foods are served in. It's just real cool, y'all. So, yeah, I like um, Good Mythical Morning. And they make, they have an episode at every morning. Well, now I don't know what they schedule like, but when I was working from home, y'all, I be, I was working, my shift started at 8. So, like, I get up there. And be listening to them because they show be done already came out for the, for the day that morning. So yeah, I like Good Mythical Morning. Um, that brings me to Timmy's Takeout. His name used to be Timmy Tomato, but it's Timmy's Takeout now. And he do kind of the same thing Good Mythical Morning does. He um he does food battles as well. So like he'll get like two similar restaurants and get the same thing and compare them and you know after all you know it's gonna be a winner whoever get the most points and then like he tries different flavors of like brands and stuff if that makes sense like like he tried all the Stouffer's tv dinners like stuff like that I uh, recommend that he did Hot Pockets because yeah I want him to try all the, the flavors of Hot Pockets because I like Hot Pockets so, yeah, he do stuff like that. He used to do, like, international taste tests and stuff. And now he kind of do them. But, like, that just be in the beginning of his regular videos. And I don't too much like that. I be wanting him to dedicate a whole video. I be wanting him to dedicate a whole video to tasting international snacks. Because I like those videos as well. Um, He'll also try, like, new foods that they have available like you know mcdonald's come out with some new like a chicken sandwich or whatever whatever he'll go and try it and he'll leave a review for us so yeah i, I watched simi's takeout um who next oh yeah kirsten Stelp. i love her videos as well she uh she basically has a family of four including herself and she just be posting like Read her recipes on what she be done cook for the week. And she put like a tutorial in there on how to cook it. And then the stuff be affordable. Because like she basically be like doing stuff on a budget. And I like that. I, I always say I'm getting into cooking y'all. I ain't did it yet. But she's going to be my inspiration. And whenever I want to cook some. I go to one of her videos. Because I know 9 times out of 10 she going to be done cooked it already. And I just follow her. So, yeah, I love Kirsten Stilp. And she do a What's in My Lunchbox. That's how I started watching her. She do a once What's in My Lunchbox for her husband. Because her husband is a truck driver. And she be making his um lunches for him. And, yeah. They be looking good, too, y'all. She can cook. She can cook. Um, Okay, so they leave you to Steph Pap Papas. Papas? I don't know how you pronounce her last name but stealth stealth be out here trying all the new stuff too at the restaurants um and she's just real nice and real cool she's funny as well but yeah she best to just try food um and last but not least 
I like watching Coco Bottle. And y'all might not know what that is. Coco Bottle is basically like a channel where it has several people on there. And like, you say you make a dish and it'd be like four or five of them on there. And they have to try each other's dishes. And the person who gets the highest score, because they rate the dishes as well. The person who gets the highest score, they are the winner. So like on one episode, they did mac and cheese. So it was like four or five people on the show with their mac and cheese and all of them had to try all the mac and cheese and y'all sometimes they blindfold them and they'll give them their own little their own dish and y'all they be dissing their own dishes so like did y'all really cook that or is this just for entertainment because how you not know your own dish come on now it be entertaining though it be entertaining because and then some people be hyping that stuff up so bad y'all and then when other people get to try it they be saying it be nasty <laughs> y'all they be entertaining to me they make other videos too i think but them not the ones that i watch so yeah those are all of my favorite youtubers slash youtube channels that i watch and yeah let me know if y'all watch them too or you know if y'all think those are interesting and y'all want to check them out if y'all check them out let me know how y'all like them so yeah this was a short video but you know don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all next video